In my last video, we discussed how some of the most popular light bulbs work and their pros and cons. If you haven't watched it yet, I'll link it up here. In this video, we're going to cover some essential lighting lingo. Light bulbs usually have a lighting facts label that gives you all the details of the product, similar to nutritional labels on food. Cree isn't sponsoring this video, I just think that they have the cleanest and clearest product packaging. Let's go over all these terms. Watt is a unit of power which is energy consumption divided by time. So a 40 watt bulb will use 40 joules per second. However, LED bulbs which use less electricity usually say replacement, which means that they will only use 5.5 watts or 5.5 joules per second to give you the same brightness as a traditional 40 watt bulb. This floodlight uses just 23 watts to give you the same brightness as a traditional 120 watt bulb. Lumens is the measure of brightness or amount of visible light generated. A higher number means a brighter light. This small bulb gives off only 460 lumens, while this brighter floodlight gives off 1750 lumens. LED lights produce more lumens at lower watts, which means that they are brighter while using less power. You can also find the lumens in the lighting facts label on the back. Lumens per watt or efficacy is the total light output divided by the total light input. For this candelabra bulb, it's 515 lumens divided by 5 watts or 103. For this floodlight, it's 1750 lumens divided by 23 watts or 76.1. The higher the efficacy rating, the less it will cost to use it. Estimated yearly energy cost is based on a 3 hour per day usage at a cost of 11 cents per kilowatt hour. This small bulb would cost 66 cents per year, while this floodlight would cost $2.77. Be sure to check your local rate for a more accurate number. While energy costs 11.71 cents per kilowatt hour in Texas, it's 31 cents per kilowatt hour in Hawaii. Life hours is the average life of a bulb as determined by engineering testing and probability analysis. A traditional 40 watt incandescent 500 lumen light bulb has 1500 life hours. An equivalent CFL has 10,000 life hours and an equivalent LED has 25,000 life hours. I don't trust this number because these LED bulbs that I bought off Amazon for my kitchen fixture claim to have a 25,000 hour life but they never last more than 4 months. It's probably just a poor quality brand. Color temperatures expressed in Kelvin, usually ranging from 2000 Kelvin or candle light to 10,000 Kelvin or a blue sky. 2700 Kelvin is a yellow, warm, calming and inviting light given off by incandescent and high pressure sodium bulbs. It's used in homes and restaurants. 3500 Kelvin is a cool white light given off by halogen bulbs. It's used in offices, receptions and supermarkets. 4000 Kelvin is a natural white light given off by metal halide bulbs. 4800 Kelvin is the color temperature of direct sunlight. 5000 Kelvin is a crisp, cool, bluish daylight. It's used in garages, security lighting, jewelry display cases and warehouses. 7000 Kelvin is a cold white light. 10000 Kelvin is a cold blue light used above aquariums. It's similar to the spectrum of light visible deep underwater. The lighting facts usually include a warm to cool spectrum for an easy reference. Color Accuracy Color Rendering Index or CRI is the effect of a light source on the color appearance of illuminated objects. It's rated on a scale of 1 to 100 with 100 being the most accurate and 1 being the least. Incandescent light bulbs are typically 100 CRI. Metal halide bulbs are 85. Fluorescent lights range between 70 to 80 CRI. High pressure sodium bulbs are 24. Low pressure sodium bulbs are 5. While LEDs can range between 65 to 90 CRI. All these Cree light bulbs have an Energy Star certification, which means that they meet strict energy efficiency guidelines set by the United States Environmental Protection Agency. They use 90% less energy than standard bulbs, they last at least 15 times longer, and they save about $50 in electricity costs over its lifetime. They also protect the environment by reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Title California 20 are regulations set by the California Energy Commission in order to reduce the amount of energy consumed by lighting products. These bulbs must have an efficacy of at least 80 lumens per watt, a minimum life of 10,000 hours, sufficient light distribution, a power factor of 0.7 or higher, etc. Dimmable light bulbs can change the lumens or brightness if they are used with a compatible dimmer switch. Using a non-dimmable bulb in a dimmable circuit 
can damage both the lamp and the circuit. All incandescent and halogen light bulbs work with nearly every dimmer switch and can be dimmed completely. Although these Cree LED bulbs are dimmable, many other LEDs aren't. Similarly, not all fluorescent light bulbs can be dimmed. Enclosed use indicates whether the bulb can be encased in a way that doesn't have proper airflow or ventilation. Heat is the enemy of an LED bulb. If the LED chips overheat, they can shorten the lifespan of the bulb. This LED floodlight has a warning saying that its lifetime may be reduced if used in airtight enclosures or in insulated ceiling airtight recessed downlight enclosures. An indoor and outdoor label means that the bulb can be used in both instances. It can handle damp or wet conditions. These Cree bulbs can be used in damp locations like bathrooms but cannot be used outdoors where it is exposed directly to weather and water. The last two things we're going to discuss are the base and bulb sizes. There are many different types of bulb bases. The most common is called an Edison screw or E-base. The candelabra base is E11 in Europe and E12 in North America. The intermediate base is E14 in Europe and E17 in North America. The most popular medium base is E26 in North America and E27 in Europe. The mogul base is E39 in North America and E40 in Europe. There are also many different light bulb shapes and sizes. A refers to the common arbitrary shape. BR is a bulge reflector. R is a reflector bulb. G is a globe-shaped bulb. C or CA is a candle-shaped bulb. T is a tubular bulb. The numbers that follow refer to the diameter of the bulb or lamp in eighths of an inch. For example, this product is an A or arbitrary shaped bulb, which is 19 by 8 or 2 and 3 eighths of an inch in diameter with an E26 medium base. On the other hand, this is a tube-shaped light which is 8x8 or 1 inch in diameter with a G13 bi-pin base. Finally, this product is a BR or bulge reflector light which is 40x8 or 5 inches in diameter with an E26 medium base. Hope you found these light bulb and lighting videos useful. If you have any other questions, leave me a comment below. I'll also link my Patreon page in the description. If you can support me, I'd really appreciate it. A big thank you to all those who are already supporting me. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See ya.